I've always been one to have a pretty positive attitude. You can't worry about the past. There's nothing you can do about it. Whoever said they made the windshield larger than the rearview mirror was because of that. I think it's the unknown that's scary. Steve was very upbeat and positive about the whole thing. It's like, I've got cancer, so what's next? I started having back problems to where I was having a hard time sleeping. I thought it was a pinched nerve. I had a enlarged lymph node in my neck. Even before we got the results of the biopsy back, we started the chemotherapy. With scans after that, it appeared that I was in remission. It was six or seven months, looked like the lymphoma was back. The oncologist started radiation treatments, and at the same time, he talked to me about some options, stem cell and others, but he said a new procedure was CAR-T. He thought I might be a good candidate for that. He reached out to St. Louis. We had relatives in that area, so he made contacts. The patient plays a vital role in understanding a complex treatment like CAR T cell therapy. I think it's really important for them to ask questions when they don't understand any part of the treatment and being informed about that process. We made the decision that we're going to go ahead and uh, go with it. We moved as quickly as we could, getting him to that apheresis where his cells were collected, sent off for CAR T cell production. They were returned in a few weeks. He received his cells. You have to have that attitude that it's working. The people that you've surrounded yourself with care about your being and they're doing everything they can and know to get you through this. My job as a caregiver at that point was sitting, waiting, <laughs> and just hoping and praying that, you know, everything was gonna go well. I went into it with it's gonna work attitude. It's probably the best decision that we ever made. I'm just thankful that we are where we are now, where he is in remission and hopefully a long-lasting remission. I'm grateful for all the people that I have been associated with through this whole journey. My doctor here in Mount Carmel, he got me to the right people. Sitting here today, no signs of lymphoma on my PET scan. I'm grateful for the way it turned out.